Hey everybody, it's Rosie and in this video I am making my turkey meatloaf. This is a very easy recipe so let's get right to it. So we're starting off with some turkey breast, ground turkey breast, and we are going to add in some chopped bell peppers and some chopped onion. You can use whatever color bell pepper you decide to use. I'm using a combination of orange, yellow, and red. I also added in some minced garlic and now I'm using my hands to make sure everything is well incorporated throughout my bowl. I'm going to season this with some seasoning salt and some ground black pepper. Now I'm adding in two medium sized eggs and I will use my hands again to make sure everything is well incorporated. So I like using my hands, I'm a hands on type of girl, if you're not you can definitely use a kitchen utensil. Now I'm going to add in my fillers and my first filler will be oatmeal. I love using oatmeal in all of my meatloafs. My second filler will be plain breadcrumbs. If you want to use seasoned breadcrumbs that is completely fine. This is just my preference. And now I'm going to add in my favorite barbecue sauce. So once the barbecue sauce is in there, I'm going to use my hands again to make sure everything is well incorporated. And now I'm going to mold my meatloaf. So I pretty much just put it in a loaf pan and then I dump it out on my baked dish. Just like that. We're going to add some barbecue sauce on top of our meatloaf and I'm just going to add it a little bit at a time because I didn't want to overdo it. If you're confident in putting a lot at once, that's completely fine. Now I'm going to brush all of that barbecue sauce on top and then I'm going to cover this meatloaf using my aluminum foil. And now it's time to bake our meatloaf in the oven on 375 Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. When your meatloaf comes out, you're going to add more barbecue sauce. Brush it on using your brush or you can use a spoon or whatever works for you. And we're going to leave this uncovered this time around. But before we place it back in the oven, I actually like to use parsley flakes. Just sprinkle a little bit on top just to make it look nice and pretty. And now we're about to put it back in the oven uncovered for about 10 to 15 more minutes. When it comes out, you want it to sit for about 5 to 10 minutes before cutting in. And then, my dear, we are ready to serve. This made the perfect dinner. My husband loved it. My son loved it as well. It's just a family favorite. So tonight I am serving my turkey meatloaf along with some cheddar garlic mashed potatoes. And that recipe will be available very soon. And I also served it with some green beans. It was delicious. I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Be sure to check me out at all of these other social media sites because I love hearing from all of you. And if you would like the exact measurements and more of my recipes, be sure to come visit me at iheartrecipes.com. See you soon.